So just to recap what you've what you've done, um, obviously to try and get a, a more centred strike yeah. in the middle of your, your club, just to move it from the the heel a little bit, or the or the naughty shank when you're on the golf course. Really um, handicap buster, <laughs> handicap destroyer. It was. Um, we've just uh, used the, the pressure mapping, and um, this is your left foot. Yeah. And obviously, this is your right foot. Yeah. When you start, you've got seventy-seven percent pressure in your lead toe. Yeah. So you're not quite balanced in yeah. the middle of your feet. You've got sixty percent pressure in your lead foot, which is fine. Yeah. It's okay to be sixty forty yeah. left and right, but you maybe want to be a bit more fifty fifty toe and toe and heel. Yeah. And then as you move back the pressure kind of goes more out into the toes yeah if you're following that little center of pressure ball there yeah. the pressure moves i'll just wind that back more out into the toes then it kind of comes back into the heels at, at, the, at the top yeah left foot's off the floor which as we've discussed is okay yeah. Yeah. however we've done some stuff and you've got that a little bit more planted yeah. um, but there are lots of good golfers that, that, that do yeah. do that um, so you've got 100% pressure in your left toe, obviously, because you, you, your heel's off the floor. Yeah. You've got 80% pressure in your right heel. Yeah. So it's just how you move is not quite yeah. not quite balanced. And then as you come through to hit the ball, the pressure goes out into the into the lead toe. Yeah. yeah. We've also looked. We're not only 3D, but we've also just mentioned. You don't clear the pelvis very yeah, well, yeah. so the pelvis is a bit square there. Yeah. That'll be contributing to you going out into the into the toe. Yeah. Um, this is um, this is some footage from a little bit later on in the session. You started much more evenly balanced. Let's just get you. Yeah, so you've started much more evenly balanced. Yeah. Um, still got the movement. Out into the toe. Yeah. Backswing was backstroke's better, isn't it? More yeah. neutral. Yeah. Still got this transition out into the toe. Yeah. Pelvis is still a bit square. Um, we've done a little exercise where you just throw a ball, and you can see the pressure trace over here is different. Yeah. So this the, the, the task here was just to throw it. And when we get people throwing or hitting rackets, check out the movement of your pelvis and your lower body. Yeah, yeah. Much more open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the pressure is now 50-50 in your lead foot. Yeah. Have I explained that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you look on that uh, velocity at the top, because you're pressing into the... Wrong one, sorry. Because you're pressing into the floor... You get quite a big spike. Yeah. That's that's just the speed that your pressure's yeah. moving. The more you can spike that, the further you'll throw or hit or jump. Okay, mate. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Be good to do a bit of three D at some point. Yeah. Have a look at how you how your body's moving. Yeah, um, but that should get you that should get you going.